I think it's just lack of knowledge, lack of not knowing their financials and not knowing like, where their money's going or how are things working. But I think if you know enough information about your business and where you want to go, I don't think it should be too difficult to succeed. I'm very glad that I came and spent a week here because I'm interested in business and I'm excited. I'm always excited about learning new things. The boot camp has given me ideas about just that I can take any product that I want and take it from start to completion and it's just I know that I can have the skills now to do that. The most fun I think was going to uh, the restaurant on Monday, Kalaloo, and that was really it was really cool because you got to see and instead of seeing the finished product, you got to see it in all its chaos and you you know, it's it's her ideas and it's pouring into this, but you don't see the finished product yet. So it's still her idea and just the chaos and the most fun I've had this week was basically living in the dorms and experience like the college life. Um, meeting a group of people that we're so different but yet we all like get along and have like a great time together so being up being up late at night and working on PowerPoints is really fun for me because I enjoy working. When we're going on field trips and I see stuff that I'm interested in but it's kind of nice hanging out with people over the summer and it's still an educational experience. Honestly, I'd have to say just hanging out in the dorms with the, all the people and just working on my own business plan, it's really exciting to like see my product coming alive into a business and like me being able to do it, like every single aspect of it and it's just it's real cool to see it come alive. We often get asked, sitting at the day is so long, uh, how do we keep students interested? Well, it's an interesting phenomenon because these students don't have to come here. So thereby, their level of interest is already there. When you have people who are already motivated, it's relatively easy to keep them pushing. Now, I must admit that by the end of the week, they're tired, but that's not a function of boredom. They are learning something that is important to them, and that's, there's an educational lesson that can be there. And I understand that when we go to university or when we're in high school, we often have to take courses that are required. But taking courses that are required are a bit different than signing up for a program that you feel a connection with. And why I say that why I say there's lessons to learn from there is that how we can bring more excitement to any classroom is to connect it with something that the student wants to learn. And so these students are here learning how to be successful in business and ultimately how to be successful in life. They're not bored. On Saturdays, the end of the boot camp, we actually have them present their business ideal to a panel of judges and the winner gets paid three hundred dollars uh, if they have the best presentation. I would think I want to start the business Gaddison in the next year or so after I am close to attending college so I'm, I'll be able to be up at a college relating to them and just be able to market it a lot better. What we're doing this year is that we have last year's winner who has launched a business. Uh, she, she, she had an ideal for a maid cleaning business for students because you know how students' rooms can be on campus. She is coming back to speak to the students this year and she won last year. So we're looking for people who want to stay engaged to us. My business plan last year was a dorm cleaning service and um, I'm hoping to start that next fall. I have it all set up for it to work at ODU, but um, I just have to get the permission to start. Um, I'm also interested in starting an event planning business when I get to school too. So just because we're young, that doesn't mean that you can't start business now. Like most entrepreneurs start businesses when they're young. So just make sure you guys keep the determination and drive so you'll be successful. Our program is challenged between having to grow it and keep it an intimate forum. One of the feedback that we received last year from students was that they like the intimate size of it. They don't want it to be a place where they come where there's 40, 50 students, which is actually consistent with Shenandoah University. Shenandoah University is known for small intimate surrounding. 
However, I'm always pulled between uh, opening up to as many young people as possible and having an opportunity to to have a place where people can get together and interact in an intimate setting. There's something to be said for keeping a program small and intimate. So I think that we would probably cap it off at around 20, but we might have room to grow in the future, but not too big so that this becomes overwhelming experience. So before I announce the win, though, I also am able to do something else because one of our sponsors donated an additional $100 for today. He says, I want you to present an award, uh, a cash award, to somebody who you feel got a lot out of the program, even if they may not necessarily have been the winner of the competition. So that award today goes to Zoe Scalpel. You want to put my name on it, it's okay. <laughs> One of the things that we may consider is not just increasing the size of the camp, but maybe having various camps throughout the summer where it's done in a series. Again, you're challenged at that point by a different kind of resource. You're challenged by the ideal of uh, the entrepreneurs that have come there, the locations that you can go to, uh, the time of people involved, because all of these things involve logistics. So what happens is, is that we bring in entrepreneurs, and as you know, anybody who has launched a business or who's running a business is a busy person. So how do I assure quality individuals over a defined period of time? So again, I'd like to offer to the audience who may be watching this, that if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a small business owner, and would like an opportunity to give back to young people, contact me so that we can increase the options of maybe having more than one boot camp, and it would be a way for students to see what you do and a chance for them to grow and to develop, create job opportunities for others by launching their own businesses. I want to read to you what the judges had to go through so that you all understand why it's so difficult, but hopefully you also understand where we came from in our decision. Judging criteria. Judges will be asked to evaluate the plans based upon their likelihood of actually becoming the basis of a viable business in scalable and compliance with business goals. This consideration in turn will include such factors as the degree of creativity and innovation embodied in the basic opportunity definition and business concept, the appropriateness of the strategy for exploiting the opportunity, the ability to sell the idea, and the person's ability to sell themselves. I am pleased to say that as difficult as it was, there was a unanimous decision that the 2007 Young Entrepreneur of the Year award winner for the $300 cash prize is Kelsey. Thanks to Dr. Davis for not only having me at the camp, but for like have financing it basically. Because I know this is a great experience, and it'll help all of us in the long run just to become better, better business people and have better businesses.